Okay, um, we've just done the section to do with creating the the first Python program. You see I've modified it a little bit, I've had a little piece on the end. Um, there's a note down here about making our programs uh, using correct comments and there's a suggestion of a file name. So I'm going to change my file name first. So there's my file I've created. I'm going to do a save as and change it to x1 print. Well, I will save that file. Okay, so I've now got a new file that I'm going to run and we're going to look at comments. Now, these programs are fairly straightforward but there's some each section of your program and group of commands should receive some comment to describe what's happening. So the first command is a display and a simple greeting. So I'm going to put a hashtag and say the comment after it. The hashtag just tells Python, don't do anything with this line. Use it, it's there for the programmer. And it helps people understand what your program is saying. Now the second part of this uh, is a statement. Do I really need something new? Well, not really. So if I take these and put these two commands together, I've got a simple greeting. They don't need a comment for every line. The next one looks a little odd and it seems to be doing something a little different, so I'll probably give it a comment. And this one is draw a picture of a cat. Well, I think it's a cat, I don't care what you think. And then after that, there's another bit of program and this isn't doing a picture of a cat, it's not a simple greeting, uh, it's report a conversation. So all this is saying is what the next group of lines are doing. Now one thing you might want to add to these is sometimes a little note saying what the, there's something odd in this code. So in this one I'm going to add the fact that backslash quote will display the quote mark in a print statement. Okay. So that's my comment about that. And I've got a special note about what something inside the code is doing. Here, I might want to add to that one. Triple quotes means print exactly. And one other thing I would suggest you do is at the top you describe what the, the whole program is doing. So this program demonstrates various printing techniques. And I would encourage you to put your name underneath it. So I've got my name in, I save the file, run it, and it shouldn't have changed what it does. It should still work perfectly normally. There's the session starting up. And here's my program. Top bit, the simple greeting, hello world, Python is cool. Then below that I've got a picture of the cat. The line there and below is because we've got the end of the three quotes. That is taken as the start of the print, so you get a blank line. And at the end we've got another blank line. So it's not the comment causing these lines. That's by that print statement. And then underneath that, we've also got the other print command. There's no errors, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my documents that I'm doing my program tasks. First thing I'm going to put in is my commented program. I can paste it into the top box. And in the second one, I can copy all the output that I've got. Control C to copy and paste. Now some people have been having problems with pasting. If you can't paste into the document properly, try using the edit menu to do it. Uh, we had a few problems with that in the last few lessons. So we scroll back to the top. Now I'm going to show you very quickly to start improve the style of my presentation. I can do an add-on code 
and I can stylize this with a, a code styling. The language is Python, so that's correct. I use a Google style, it's up to you. I turned off background to leave my yellow color there and I can tell it to format that. There you are. There's my program nicely formatted for me to actually submit and save my work. Okay. There's a quick note on being able to create and run programs here using Python anywhere. Follow the arrows from files, create a new file, ending file name, put your code into the uh, code editor, press save and run and you'll get your output coming out here. Okay. So that's it, that's how you, uh, what you need to do for your task.